So we are a large rural primary school of 360 children. Uh, we have a nursery, we have 14 class bases and we are also the resource the learning centre provision for children with additional support needs in the area. Um, the high five groups predominantly are for children to access our learning centre space. So the high five groups that we've put together are a mixture of children that are uh, accessing our learning centre um, as well as their peers from their, their classes. So it's a really good opportunity for all of our kids to mix together, no matter what their abilities or their support needs, um, what they might be, uh, and they learn from each other and, and work together as a team. Um, for us, the High Five Awards are a way of recognising attainment and achievement in a different format. We've got a lot of children in our school who don't necessarily reach the benchmarks in terms of their academic progress and could very easily be turned off school. High Five is a way of giving them the opportunity to achieve in a different way and also to learn new skills for their life. It's been terrific in terms of giving children a voice. It's been important in terms of making sure that children have a way of having control over their own learning. And it's given them a big opportunity to step out into the wider world and try different things that they wouldn't have done in the past. Yes, I, I work one day a week in the Learning Centre and I um, am responsible for running the High Five groups at the moment. Um, so I help the children decide what they would like to achieve, what their challenges, they, they help them set their challenges for their sessions um, and then help them structure the milestones that they try and achieve to um, ultimately gain that challenge. I think as teachers in schools we are sometimes quite constrained by the, the standard academic curriculum and for all we might feel uh, that we want to deliver other opportunities to develop wider life skills we need a, a programme or a means to do that and I think that High Five really does allow you the, the freedom and flexibility to do that but in quite a structured way mm -hmm. uh, that can be that you, where you can evidence the children's progress. So Seth struggled with being in the classroom full time and when Mr Wan came to us with the idea of High Five we thought it would be perfect for Seth because he loved being outdoors, he loved having things that weren't quite as structured that he could perhaps lead himself and it got him outside, which is something we always struggled with, but it gave him that break from the classroom that he needed. So it not only encouraged him to do some independent thinking with Mrs De Silva, but it also helped in the classroom as well because he wasn't as stressed. Um, it was really fun to enjoy. It was really fun to actually go ahead and participate in this group. So we set challenges like creating 3D models. Sure. So this is my first Ever model of incorrect. It was made with proper, uh, what was it called? Clay. And I can't really say that much about it. It's just more like my first. It's supposed to be an ATAT. Have you ever heard of Star Wars? It's a really fun thing to do. So we used to have to fight most mornings to get Seth to school until you mentioned high five days and he knew he was going to be out the classroom doing something special which encouraged him to come into the class and he actually enjoyed it. So I was thinking confidence, I was thinking about my confidence, my enjoyment. <coughs> I don't know why we put this face here, I just ran away, got it and put it in. Uh, Organisation skills, my writing skills, my building skills, my talking and listening skills, my positivity and my new gardening knowledge. As a parent, it was we were really proud of him because, as I say, he he wasn't excited for much. Learning isn't his forte, but seeing him actually want to finish something and achieve it for himself, it was it's magical. How can, how can I say it made me feel? It made me feel extremely excited and awesome. I felt really, I really, I felt as confident as I could to myself for high school coming up. So as soon as I hit high school, I was so determined because of that award. If you ever have the opportunity to go for a high five award with your child, it's something you need to grab with both hands and take it because the difference we saw was amazing. And I think if we didn't have the opportunity for high five, Seth wouldn't be as outgoing and confident as what he is now. It, it, for me, it's what teaching is all about, is when you see those little sparks and light bulbs go off. I feel like I see that every week with a high five because they get so much out of it. It's hugely rewarding for, for me as a teacher because I, I see that outcome. I think one of 
uh, our aims as teachers is that when the children go home at the end of the day and the parents say, what, what did you do at school today? They don't just say nothing. And mm -hmm. after a session on the High Five programmes, the, the children leave and they're buzzing. Yeah. And the feedback that we get from the parents is that they come home and they are so full of chat, which is, is super. I mean, it's I, great. I think um, Seth's mum said it all, but really the, the confidence, increase in confidence the ability to take leadership roles and work as a team and to discover things about themselves that they didn't necessarily know. For example, one particular child struggles quite a lot with reading and writing, but he's demonstrated and learnt a huge amount about his leadership skills um, through the High Five because he's been given that opportunity and, and quite often I will ask one of them to take the lead and be in charge of the activities that day. I would strongly encourage other schools to look into how a High Five programme could work in their own context. Um, we are slightly different in the fact that we have a mainstream school and we also have the Learning Centre. Um, but I think that it, it really does allow for individuality and uh, freedom to, to deliver the curriculum for excellence and everything that it stands for. Mm -hmm.